fireworks. You've probably seen them, heard them or done them. But have you ever considered the impact they have on our environment? I love fireworks. I've got so many happy memories from when I was a young kid going with my dad to watch firework displays in South London. But now that I'm an air pollution scientist, I'm starting to learn that they're not quite so good for the environment as I'd thought. My personal opinion is that I'm not a fan of fireworks. I really enjoyed them when I was small and growing up, but the more I become aware of the impacts they're having on air pollution, the less keen I am on them. Fireworks sadly can cause quite a bit of damage to the environment. This can come from the metals that are used to make all the colours where we watch and go wow. And also some of the propellants that are used in fireworks uh, are quite bad for natural ponds uh, and rivers. Sometimes on Guy Fawkes night, PM 2.5 particles in our major cities can increase by more than 10 times. The pollutant that we're most concerned about is fine particles or PM 2.5. And the reason we're concerned about these is because they, they're small and they can penetrate deep into our lungs and result in severe health outcomes, including premature death. On a scale of 1 to 10, how detrimental do you think fireworks are to our environment? 10 being extremely high and 1 quite low. It's hard to put it on a, a sort of distinct scale from 1 to 10, but I can certainly say that as soon as a fireworks event like Guy Fawkes has happened, the scale goes to 8, 9, 10, depending on how many fireworks are set off and depending on the weather. Uh, and it's probably around about 8 for events in the UK, but certainly 10 plus for events in places like Delhi, India, where there's already really bad air pollution. In your opinion, do you feel fireworks should be banned? It may be insensitive for me to advocate for a ban on fireworks because they are widely used for religious celebrations that I don't know the full details of. So I think the best approach to deciding whether or not to ban fireworks is to get buy-in from communities that may be culturally impacted by a ban. I would sound like a real killjoy if I said that fireworks should be banned. And to be honest, I love them as well. But perhaps we can have some alternatives, be it laser light shows or drones, or perhaps the whole funding around fireworks could be donated to something else and we could have some sort of change for good. This Gurdwara in Slough feel they've made a change for good this year. So Sili Guru Singh Sabha Slough is the most established Godwara in Slough and what we've done to celebrate the birth of Guru Nanak Dev Ji who's the first Sikh revolution, revolutionary Guru is instead of doing a, a big massive firework display which is detrimental to the environment we decided a better use of that funds was to donate that money to a worthwhile cause so we decided collectively to use that thousand pounds and donate it to uh, Thames Hospice which is a local hospice serving the local community quite interested to know how did you and your management become aware of the environmental impact fireworks have? Uh, I think collectively with COP26 happening a few weeks ago and the discussions on TV, on the radio, it's something for me personally is quite close to, to my heart. I'll try and be as eco as I can. I'm really, you know, really anal with my wife about recycling and I think, you know, every small thing matters. So essentially what we've decided to do is, you know, what can we do to make our mark on the environment on a positive manner? And the first thing we decided was actually those fireworks, they, they can go. How do you think the people of Slough who visit this Gurdwara on a regular basis feel about this new initiative? I think they'll be overwhelmingly positive and supportive because they, everyone is aware of the environmental impact of, of fireworks on the environment, on pets, on animals. Uh, so I think the, the, the response will be overwhelmingly positive. I questioned a small group of the congregation to really find out their views on this change. Would you rather watch a fireworks display or donate to charity? Uh, we like to donate to charity. I would rather donate to charity because it's less polluting. Donate to charity? Donate to charity. Donate to charity to help people in need. I like fireworks because they're sparkling. Uh, better to donate to charity. Why? Fireworks are not friendly for environment. I would donate to charity because I want to help the poor and sick people. I would rather donate to charity because as Sikhs we give to people in need. Fireworks because I like them a lot. I would choose fireworks because it's much more better. I donate to charity because if I chose the firework display then that would cause pollution and in the times right now climate change is a big thing. 
Indeed, this could be the start of a new tradition here. But what about major events like the annual New Year's Eve firework display in London? Ironically, the 2021 show featured a narrated piece by Sir David Attenborough, which imparted his message of sustainability for the future. With a new year comes the opportunity for change. And if we act in 2021, we can make a world of difference. The fireworks celebration is the largest in Europe. But have you ever considered how much is spent on it every year? Well, just take a look at this graph. A representative from the Information Governance Office shared that the London display has on average cost a massive 1.74 million per year from 2003 to 2021. The graph clearly shows year by year the budget has been somewhat increasing. However, interestingly, the last two years have seen a drastic drop. Perhaps the reason for this is the brand new combination of laser lights and drones, obviously alongside the fireworks. Sure, it's a great event that brings millions together to watch the night sky light up. But with so many other alternatives now that are more affordable and certainly greener to our planet, it seems like a change for good is needed. After all, it is taxpayers' money going to an aesthetic and entertainment-led event. Just imagine what a £1 million donation would do for a local hospice or the NHS. I just want to say a huge thank you to the Gurdwara and all of the, everybody who got involved in the fundraising and the donation. It's going to make a huge difference to our patients. If I give you an example, uh, the £1,000 will almost pay for two patients to have 24 hours of specialised care. That's the nurses, the doctors, the counsellors, our running costs, everything that's needed to make a patient and their family as comfortable as possible. So I hope everybody's smiling and feeling inspired at, the, at this donation because it really is changing families' lives locally. What are your views on the Gurdwara's new initiative to donate instead of hosting their annual firework display? Well, when I first heard about this, I thought, what a beautiful match because the fireworks and the light in the sky really matches up with um, our Christmas themed appeal, which is about bringing light to people, you know, at a very, very difficult time of year when they're facing a terminal illness or, fate or, or have experienced a bereavement. And so the light that didn't go up into the sky is actually now running through Thames Hospice. So a huge thanks to the Good Warrior for, for doing that and, and not having their firework night, but they can be sure that the lights are on and the lights are in people's hearts here at Thames Hospice thanks to their donation. I know you're director of fundraising and marketing but what are your views on fireworks? How impactful do you think they are to our environment? Well you know we've just been through the COP26 and it's really really clear that if we don't all start to change our lives then you know really there is no plan B for this planet. So I think we all need to be thinking about how we make those changes. And I think, you know, not taking part in fireworks displays and not letting them off is a really, really good way to start to make those small incremental changes, you know, that can allow us all to be a green champion. And certainly it's something that's on our agenda here at the hospice. And I think we've got our first green champions meeting next week, actually. So good time to talk about the environment. Amrit Singh Man, Man's Broadcast.